Hi, Mom. Hi, dear. So I figured out what was wrong with my skin. What was going on? It's bad. Really? They said if it's super contagious and if I don't get it treated, I might. is going on in this room, well, baby. first of all, this is not for me. Holy sh I, dude. Listen, like. Mariah is in clean mode. So I am holding <laughs> my clothes. Wait, all wait, 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 can you please repeat what you just said? Mariah is in clean mode, but the room doesn't look clean. <laughs> so how are, how are you in clean mode? Which means I'm folding so I can clean it out. Okay. Ever since we had guests over for the Fourth of July, our room has just been destroyed. We yeah. washed all the sheets. These are clean. These are washed. They smell amazing. They're just not on I'm the bad. bed. These just need to go there, and it's done. And this needs to get get out of here. It's just frustrating because, like, first of all, I hate laundry. Yeah. I don't know if anyone else is like that. I hate laundry day because I feel like I. Wait till last minute to do my laundry because mm -hmm. I, I that's just how I am. That's how I am laundry. too. I wait and so my I laundry big, just sits in my bin. Yeah, and then I have big loads of laundry, but you know what I'm gonna start doing? I'm gonna start doing no matter how much clothes are in my bin, I'm going to be cleaning my clothes once a week because I've had enough. So when did you clean these last? <laughs> two days weeks. ago? Yeah, two days ago. Dude, you said we it's been well, two no, days. I'm saying I haven't cleaned He's been sitting in the room for two days. Yeah. And, and you're finally doing it. Well, them. because there I have so much clothes. You see how much clothes are on the ground? This is all stuff I gotta hang. Okay. This is all stuff that I folded. Okay. Like I just <sighs> You're a very good explanator, you know? That's uh, probably not even a word, but Well yeah, and I hate hanging stuff because sometimes it's like, oh Life is just hard, honestly. I, laundry life is no, hard. life is just so hard, guys. I like honestly. I hate being in my own house having to do my own laundry. Wait, you said you hate when your dad used to do your no, laundry. No, I miss when my dad used to do my laundry. I miss like not having responsibilities. Fun fact, this girl's dad did her laundry up until the day we moved. No. You barely did your laundry. You right. know your dad did well, it all the time. because my dad Which always, there's nothing wrong with that, but, my dad wanted but to, most no, people don't. Hold on, I blame my dad for this one. Dad, if you're watching, he didn't want me really doing my own laundry. He did, but he did at the same time because he wanted it he done didn't want right. You, he didn't want you effing up the, the washer no. and dryer. Yeah, that's why. My dad he knows you guys would mess that up. Yeah. Only the twins. No, and I'm good at laundry now. I know now she know. is. I'm, now I, she is. I'm the one telling you how to do your laundry. <laughs> okay, you honey. Be throwing, you okay. be throwing white You be dogs. throwing shade towards me. Wait, I you be throwing a white ass shirt like this with a black shirt. You know what? YOLO. You only live once. I, I'm not. Stained. Life is too short to care about what, where your laundry goes. I'm just going to throw all that in and put it on a cycle. Bada bing, no! bada boom. Then that's how you ruin your Bada nice bing, clothes. bada boom. We are on our way to Bill's doctor's appointment. Well, is it, what is it called? Dermatologist? Dermatologist? Neurodermatologist. Yeah, yeah, dermatologist appointment. I don't know if you guys remember, but we posted on our channel about Bill's skin condition. It's kind of like really patchy and it's like under his armpits and on his belly and he just wanted to get it checked out just to make sure like everything's fine and it's nothing more severe than it might actually be. But today is the day that I have my appointment and we're going to it right now. We're literally like 20 minutes away. So today they're going to give you like answers today? Like how you know what like what's gonna go down. Yeah. Like, yeah. They said they'll give me answers and then if they need to, they'll give me like a prescription uh... to what would fix it. I'm just hoping it's nothing bad because like, I don't know if you did see our last video that we did on this, like it looks really bad and like it's spreading. Yeah, it so, is. So like this could be like really like, I'm not gonna say life threatening, but it could be like really bad because if we don't yeah. see what, what it, it could literally be anything. I don't know, I don't wanna say it's skin cancer. I don't even know what skin cancer looks like, but like it's just some sort of rash that just keeps like eroding my skin away yeah. and making it super dry. And we'll also stay tuned to the end of this video because we'll show you it on camera, a little update of where I'm at. Yeah, and also I noticed that it gets even more in depth when you like when we were laying out in the sun and you would come in from the sun it's more hyphened and i think it's i think that's how it is in general when it's, it's wet it's not as bad but when it's like dry, dry 
I, it's bad. Like, yeah. It looks terrible. I think it's been going up this way. Really? Yeah, because it's like right here. Now it's right there now? Well, it's kind of been right right here, but like, I don't think it was like that like months ago. No, it wasn't. And like a year ago, I didn't have any of it. No, Bill didn't have any of it, guys. Like, that's why it's like scary. It's like, where did this come from? You know? So I'm excited to get some answers. I'm excited to finally get you looked at because I would hate for anything bad to happen. I just remembered I didn't shave my stomach, so oh. I got a hairy stomach right now. I think that. You know what? They probably get people who have hairy chests all they the time. They've probably seen it all. They yeah, it all. that's normal. All right, let's get on our way. Let's see what's up with it, and hopefully it's nothing bad. But Fingers stay crossed. Tuned. How are you feeling? I'm feeling dry. My skin's hella dry today. Really? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. You want to show them? So it looks better. Oh, you kind of can see. Ooh. Oh, honey. Don't mind my hair. I didn't shave. You keep saying that. Who cares? <laughs> you look good. We'll see. <laughs> How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good, I'm getting all nice to see you. Hi, guys. Tell me what's going on. I, got, I don't know, it's probably minor, but it's minor discoloration under my armpits and like on my abdomen. Okay. And my skin just gets super dry. You're gonna take your shirt off. Yeah. All the way? Yeah. How long has this been going on? Probably like eight months now. It's not, it doesn't look as bad today, but. Yeah, some days it's worse than others. Tibia versicolor. It is a basically a yeast infection on the skin. Oh, yeah. I thought you'd know that off the top of your head. That's my job to know yeah, that right? stuff. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah. It's, it's not bad right now, but like you can see it gets dark. Yeah, so if you went out in the sun, you got, like, these would look white. They don't tan at all. Yeah, because when, when we would tan outside, his like stomach right there would be like dark. I stopped. And then there would be white spots months. like all over. It was weird. Not that I'm saying you should go tan. Yeah. Like when, yeah, when the skin is affected with it, it does leave white spots. Exactly. So, yep. Yeah. So basically, what I'm gonna do is give you a soap to use in the shower. Okay. You're gonna leave it on your body for about five minutes before you rinse it off, and then I'm gonna give you a cream called Econazole. You'll put that on daily for about a month. Okay. All right. As far as you know how to prevent this, do you work out? And, um, like, do you get real sweaty when you work out? Yeah, we work out like five days a week. Okay. Mm -hmm. You so sweat a lot. Sure, yeah. Make sure that you, even if you aren't going to shower before you go home, change your shirt. Mm -hmm. You don't want a wet shirt sitting on your skin for a long period of time. That's what creates this. Okay. We all have bacteria and yeast on the skin. That's our normal skin flora. But when it has a perfect environment, warm, moist environment, it's a perfect environment for it to grow and then it you know becomes a problem on the skin and this isn't really harmful sometimes it can be a little itchy it's mm. more cosmetically the, the issue yeah. you know, where you can see it on the skin okay. so make sure you change your shirt when you're done you know if you wear uh, like a UV shirt outside you know if you're in the pool that kind of stuff make sure that you're not sitting in a wet shirt for a long period of time basically just keep Okay, so wet being like doesn't matter if it's sweat or water, either way, it's exactly. just like not okay. Yeah, we'll frequently see this for you know people that sit in a white bathing suit for a long period of time. It's Florida. We all yeah, it's just part oh, of yeah, living of down here, unfortunately. I feel like it yeah. started when we moved here because we moved here a year ago, mm -hmm. and then yeah, I wasn't here when we moved here for a couple months. Yeah, I wasn't. So I was secretly trying to film just so I can show you guys, and you guys can kind of like listen in and be behind the scenes of it all. I want to say what I have. If you did not hear the dot, you filmed that part. Yeah. I did. Oh my god. So this sounds super, <laughs> this sounds super strange. And I don't know what the word she said. I know what it is. This is called tinea versicolor. Whatever that word means. Yeast? It No, she said it's like a blah, 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 blah in, infection or whatever. You know, like yeah. she said a long doctor term. But yeast infection. It is basically a yeast infection on my skin, which I didn't even know could happen. Okay, so the reason I'm, How is this the, reason, the reason I'm laughing is because women tend to get yeast infections especially when they are sitting in either a wet bathing suit or just there's other stuff and other factors and I've actually gotten yeast infections before like yeah, I'm I remember I've had that happen to me before there's nothing wrong with yeast infections they're totally normal and like you know we create yeast on our body that's just how it is yeah she said your body naturally creates yeast so mix that with sweat or water sitting in a t-shirt I thought it was only a girl thing like I thought it was only girls <laughs> that get it but I thought too but apparently anyone can get it on your anywhere, skin. anywhere in your body. She says it's common. I'm like, how is this common? Because I've never even heard about it. Well, 
and also Bill tends to after he works out and Bill's a sweater he sweats a lot at the gym he will sit in his shirt and you do sit in your shirt sometimes for a couple hours I do yeah sometimes I don't shower right after which is not like I know, you know it's what nasty, but I'm like, kind of happy that this happened because now Bill will instantly get in the shower now I, he gets I instantly got in the shower today before we even ate this will make him go quicker you already know I was in the shower. I know, but that, I, that was the first day you know out of every day that you take whatever. forever to get in the shower. I bet you athletes get this a lot. Let me just tell you guys, do not get a yeast infection on your skin. Clean your skin off. Make sure not to sit in wet clothes for too long. Maybe because this will help prevent from you guys getting something like this. It got bad. When yeah, we filmed that did. other video, it wasn't even as bad, but it got bad. That is why we started this whole journey of going to a dermatologist. Because like I would not go to this if it wasn't. And serious. I don't know if you guys heard, but when when me and Bill would like lay out and tan and this like we usually do that in the summer he comes and lays out with me those spots that had the yeast will stay white like they won't turn that's why he looked splotchy in certain mm -hmm. areas that's why his like stomach was looking like that yeah and you can see it better when I'm shaved too yeah the last video you guys could see it way more this video it's kind of like harder to see it because I feel like it's not as but potent. even before the last video it, it was way worse like yeah. a month before that it was brown at one point like yeah. my skin is white obviously that was just all brown and white dots all around yeah it's because it wouldn't tan the white spots that so it makes made you so look, much it sense. made you look funky the white spots were the spots that weren't tanning yeah so basically to sum it all up we figured out bill has a yeast infection team yeast infection what are we gonna do Woo! I gotta go get my cream. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm just dying laughing about this because I literally had no idea you can get it on the skin. Like, I gotta go I get my cream. You gotta get cream. We gotta go pick up my stuff from the pharmacy. We'll show you guys that because I want to show them what the cream is and stuff. I want, you should apply it on camera. <laughs> Get right. this yeast infection going. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. So it is currently the next day. We just got back from the gym. What did we work out today, baby? Worked out some. Show them. Flex those muscles. Some back. Ooh. Okay. It's getting more defined. I see. I see the little the muscle grooves right here and bicep. Look at that pump. We next didn't do a whole lot bite. today. We kind of <laughs> we kind of went to the gym late today. Yeah. Um, but we gotta start getting our bodies up and going in the morning. So. I I don't know what it is, but like we're really bad at waking up yeah. early. We can wake up at like nine. Yeah. But like, for some reason, we've just been like We're lazy when we wake up in the morning. Yeah, so goal is to wake up at 8.30. And I know for some of you, you guys are like, oh, at 8.30, that's it? Well, come on, guys, people that don't do it a lot, it's hard. But we did just pick up my prescription. I'm not gonna show you the name of it or any of that because it has all like my that information on it or whatever. Wait, wasn't this the word that she said? Keto can canazole shampoo. shampoo. Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure that's the word that she yeah. said. So we got some shampoo, guys. So this one says apply to the affected area on back and shoulders once daily after showering for back one and month. shoulders. I, I got well, I think it depends on underneath the arm. Depends on the so area. what is this? This is shampoo. I'm not putting this in my hair. Why am I gonna use this? Maybe it's shampoo so it says, for wash body once a day. Let it sit for five minutes. Once that's under the stuff. Control. Okay, so this is what you use in the shower. At, this is after shower. Guys, I literally have to go so on a treatment like, plan for my skin right now. So this is kind of right like now. a cream. So after you get out of the shower, you put this cream on the affected areas. And you do oh. this. Oh, so there's a shampoo for in the shower and a this cream is, for after the shower. This is for once daily and this is... Oh, oh God! Control two to three times <laughs> a week to maintain. Oh my God! This is, so this is wash body once a day, and then control can do two to three times a week. We're calling my mom right now. Oh. Hi, mom. Hi, dear. So I figured out what was wrong with my skin. So we went to the dermatologist yesterday, and I went up to the girl, and she knew exactly what it was right when she looked at it. But basically, and I know you could probably relate to this because you're a girl. It's basically a skin yeast infection. So, <laughs> why are you laughing at me? Because girls get that. <laughs> she said, your skin naturally produces yeast and when you sit in a wet shirt or like sweaty or whatever, over a long period of time. It's like when over girls and over, sit in it just makes bikini. it worse and worse. Yeah, it's like when girls sit in like a wet bikini. Yeah, yeah. So basically I have a yeast infection on my stomach and under my arm. <laughs> Do they do for that? I just have a shampoo that I gotta use. It says it could come back seasonally, like depending on it. But she's like, you live in Florida now. You're dealing with the hot. Well, heat, and the sweat. it's because Bill sits in his. Sometimes he sits in his like wet. 
t-shirt after the gym and it gets like under his armpits it's and just stuff. The jeans, they're just too much. I'm sweating all the time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Billy, maybe you need to start bringing a, an extra shirt and as soon as you're done, switch it. Yeah, I know. That that you probably know, would be on my next th my next thing to do, just bring a t-shirt. But yeah, I just wanted to call you really yeah. quick and tell you that. All right, baby, first Ooh. up is your keto canazzle. Woo, keto canazzle. Wait, what? I think I might have said it right. Keto canazzle. Keto canazzle. Keto canazzle. <laughs> keto con nozzle. Yeah, keto canazzle. Shampoo. You know, people, it, it just sounds like a cookie or something. People keto canazzle. Yeah. No, keto oh, canazzle. We forgot to tell the dermatologist there's one more spot on my body that has the rash. It's on can his I arm. see that? Yeah. Yeah, you guys can see that. I'm pretty sure that's the same thing. It's all right here. It looks the exact same. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah. You can see it better today? Yeah, you can see it kind of better today because you're sweating. Oh, Are you going to shower man. with your head on? Oh, all right. Here's your keto canazzle shampoo. <laughs> I don't even know if it's right though. What's up, Marvel Squad? It's just you and me hanging out in the shower. With his pants on. Watching me with, with my pants on. Oh. It's oh. Pink. It's pink. It's like red. I thought it was. What? So you have to leave that on, I think, for five minutes. Ooh. Oh. I probably used too much. Yeah, you did. So I put it on the affected area. Damn, Keo Canazzle. Oh, I probably used way too much. They don't, this is only good for like. You have to use it for a month. Oh, okay. Get all up in your armpit. Baby, I am as far up as I can get. No, you gotta get in here. In my armpit? Right here. You're not even filming Wait, me. You're you even... gotta get up there, like up in all here. Right, all right, all right. <laughs> you gotta really make sure you're getting the affected spot. Don't get your body wet. You gotta let that sit for five minutes. <laughs> you are so wet. All right, bye, babe. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you shower because you're annoying me. All right guys, so I just finished my shower and all I gotta do now is apply this, uh, I don't even know how to say the name. Like, like these names, I don't know where people come up with them, but they are a different breed, a whole different language. But to be honest, like, I'm actually super happy, obviously, that my skin condition, or I don't even know if it's a condition anymore, is not anything worse than I thought it to be. Because, like, low-key, there was a point where, like, it was so bad, I really didn't know what was up. And I really was, like, not scared, but nervous that I had some sort of, like, skin disease that was, like, gonna go all over my body. And I could 100% feel for the people that might have some sort of skin imperfection or pigmentation it definitely does make your self-confidence go down in the fact that like not that I didn't want to take my shirt off but like when I do take my shirt off people are gonna be like you know what's wrong with you know I have to explain what happened but I'm super stoked to get this gone hopefully it goes away soon but I did shave so I have a baby baby belly again because <laughs> that's another big thing like the more like hair I probably have on my chest the worse like I'm gonna sweat and stuff and like TM I know this is TMI, but I just want to thank all of you guys for even in our last video that we talked about this that we're like, you know, sending positive messages and all that stuff because like it honestly could have been a lot worse and I'm glad that it wasn't. Hopefully soon I'm coming back with the shirtless pics on Instagram. I know you guys miss them. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not like that, but make sure to follow me and Mariah on Instagram because we also did just post on there like yesterday, I think, and you guys are missing out. I did some funny stories. Some like, if you didn't see, like I posted a story saying comment what I should do to Mariah then like everything that you guys commented like I did to her like I scared her with a bug slapped her booty just like you know like cute funny things that you guys messaged I just love talking to you guys I love incorporating you into all of our videos so make sure to go hit us up on there and I think that's it for today's video guys I'm just gonna button up hopefully this cream works we might give you a little update in one of our next videos in the future but for now this is what we're running with I'm trusting the doc when she says that that is all that is it it looks like she was pretty confident I'm not gonna mess with her opinion okay she's the professional here and I'm just the youtuber so I really don't know anything when it comes to people's bodies except Ryan's <laughs> but we will see you guys in the next video but until then peace love you guys